are getting rough My mind just sounds like Shia LaBeouf It says no, 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 no Just no, 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 no And every time I see him with you My heart sounds like Shia LaBeouf Do no, 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 no No, no Today's a, a pretty good day. Almost just a very couple of small clouds or just light smog in the air. But no crystal clear skies, sunny, and the water's smooth with a little crisp of a uh, little wave, ripple waves. So, not too bad. We'll see how today goes. My bell, motocross helmet, I got my uh, Oakley goggles, um, I'm not sure how well the audio is right now, but we'll see, uh, it feels a little muffled at least in here, so we'll give it a try. I just want to apologize for the, the quick hitch 
shade back and forth with the left and right, I guess I need to be more aware. I guess having a camera in my head, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm looking at, but I just noticed when I'm looking at the video now that there's a lot of camera looking back and forth and it can get a little nauseous after a while, so I do apologize for that. But um, I do want to ask y'all's opinion on helmets on a jet ski. So I do know that they don't really make specific helmets for jet skis. Um, I looked everywhere. You can, you can get the high-end ones for the racing helmets, but those are anywhere ranging from like 400 plus dollars for just a helmet, which I feel at, at the end of the day is just a modified, uh, either like a, a ski do helmet or like a snowmobile helmet or like a motocross helmet, just pretty light helmets that most of them have anyway, so I guess looking online reviews is just, I found out that most people that tend to have wear helmets on the jet skis, wear like the motocross helmets, but I do want to get y'all's opinion on wearing helmets on a jet ski or personal watercraft. Um, I know sometimes it can look silly. I guess some people would say it would look silly. Um, others think it's overkill why on a jet ski. Um, for me though, I've, I've obviously had this jet ski for a year now and I've never had a helmet before, never thought I really needed it, but I've noticed more and more while jet skiing with other people and when lakes become more crowded with more boats and creating more wakes, that uh, you can easily catch an edge, with, like on a snowboard or something, it's not as bad, but you can catch an edge of water or the wakes and you can just hit your head on the the jet ski handlebars on the side of the edge are into another jet ski. Um, finding that out the other day, just getting with four other, four other people, is that you can get pretty close and all it takes is one simple catch and you could be flying in your head and flying off the jet ski. And I've seen plenty of videos now since I've now noticed it more of people just knocking themselves out. and. Uh, I've seen one video where some guy knocked himself out and literally was head under water and he probably would have drowned if his buddy wasn't there to pull him out of the water and he was unconscious for like 10 minutes and finally woke up but he was just totally out of it so um, not the case I want to be in. I probably won't run a helmet all the time but I feel like it's a necessity around a lot of people. I don't know. What's y'all's opinion? Comment down below in the comments. I know another big factor for me, at least, for getting this motocross helmet was providing another view of mounting my GoPro. Um, there's only so much you can do holding a handlebar, the Karma grip, or mounting it on my front of the hood of the jet ski looking at me. It's only so much you can view. Um, I thought it would be a different, pretty cool perspective being able to mount on the helmet giving you a first person's view of what I'm looking at, what I'm doing, and what I can see. So, I mean, that's probably another, that's one of the big reasons why I got a helmet. But, yeah, now that I'm more and more look into it, uh, I think in jet skis, anything, especially a high-powered jet ski, I mean, this one can go definitely 72 miles an hour, and now that I've driven it more and more, I've actually thrown myself off going 45, 50 miles an hour. Which doesn't hurt too bad in the water because you end up tucking and rolling, but I mean, all it takes is to hit something hard is hit, to accidentally hit the side of the jet ski on one bad turn, so. But uh, yeah, I do think that just helmets are a, uh, a huge plus. I don't know, like I said earlier, I wouldn't always run one, but. You're a superhero